Well, hello everybody. Uh, I'm outside today. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There I am. There I am. And uh, I just was outside and a couple of things have been on my heart and I just thought I'd do just a quick video to talk about this because this is starting to happen a lot. Now, don't think that I'm talking about you if you think that I'm talking about you because you know that remember that song? I bet you think this song, song is about you, don't you? Well, I'm really not talking about anybody in particular, but I think this is really important because we're getting a lot of people. A lot of people want want this whole coaching thing. It's like everybody want a coach. Everybody want a mentor. Everybody saying, you know, help me, help me, help me. And I, there are a couple of things that I want to say about that because, uh, first of all, when it comes to... Um, having someone to help you get direction in life. It's really important that you connect with per with people. And so a lot of times people will see me because I get it a lot. I get a lot of people saying, will you coach me? Will you mentor me? Will you, will you share, you know, because they see or they, 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 they see or they, that, that, mm, what's the word? They see the level of wisdom that a person has. And sometimes people think that that can just be, that I can just give that to you. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way because in order for us, hi, hi, Kendra, welcome, welcome. Today I'm talking about this whole concept of mentoring, coaching, having, getting somebody to sort of help guide your life. Aha, let's fix that. There we go. Getting someone to help guide your life, get directions. Now, it is very important that you have a mentor, but there are a couple of things that I want to, to talk about in terms of mentorship. Number one, um, I have several mentors. I've had a number of them. Hi, Warren. Welcome. I've had a number of mentors. One of my prim one of the pr my primary mentors is Patricia King. I love this woman. And when it comes to getting guidance and direction, now I don't have a lot of contact with Patricia. And so a lot of people think that in order for you to be mentored by somebody that you have to talk to them you got to you got to call them you got to you know what you you honestly folks i have people who are mentoring me who i've never even talked to I'll tell you one of them, Graham Cook. Graham Cook is one of my personal mentors. Another one of my personal mentors, Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson of Bethel Church is one of my personal mentors. Now, how can I call them a personal mentor? Because a mentor doesn't have to be in your space to coach you. They don't have to be in your life to teach you. There is a, a huge amount, an enormous amount of revelation and insight that's available from people you don't even have to know them. But here's what God will do. When you are looking for a mentor, if you actually strike a chord, and this is, hi, Charmaine, welcome. Thank you guys for logging. Now, if, when, you, when you jump on here, just shoot me a quick note. Say, hey, holla, what's up, Stella, to let me know who's on here with me. So if you are one of those individuals, or if you think you need a mentor, here are a couple of things that will help you. Okay, number one, if you need a mentor, you don't need to jump on the boat and contact that person and say, will you mentor me? Here's why. Because the fact that a person a lot of times wants somebody in their space, they want somebody to talk to, they want somebody to coach them, they want what? A lot of times that's telling me that the one you really need to be contacting, you really need to be connecting with, who is Holy Spirit, you haven't done that. So the first thing you need to do when you start, when you feel like you need a mentor and someone connects with what's happening in your life. Hey, Chris. Hey, Kendra. When someone connects with what's happening in your life, they speak a word that goes, mm, it hits you right in the gut. And you're like, oh, yeah. What you need to do is take that word. Hi, Christine. Take that word and begin to pray in the spirit over it. Now, why do you want to pray in the spirit? Because the ultimate mentor is the Holy Spirit. He is the one. He is the one who will cause you to grow. He is the one who will cause you to excel. He is the one who will cause you to become who God predestined you to be. He's the one. So if you're not connecting with Holy Spirit, if you're not connecting in prayer, if you're not connecting with the spirit of the living God in a way that causes you to become who God has told you to be, then you guys, there's a little dog in my yard and he is so ugly and he is chasing my puppy. And this is really cute, but my puppy is too cute for that dog. There she is. So we're going in the house. <laughs> 
So we, if you're not connecting with that mentor of the Holy Spirit first, then you don't need to be calling anybody asking them for their insight. Because that tells me that you're not willing, we're not willing to do what's necessary. So the first thing you do, when you hear a word from God, from any instructor, from any coach, from anybody that connects with the Spirit of God in you, that's the Lord telling you, you need to take that word and marinate in it. Take that word and pray in it. Take that word and go deeper in it. Take that word. Hi, Lee Erica. Take that word and allow it to penetrate your spirit, man. Allow it to go and to get you to that place where you're hearing from God. He will give you more insight over what you've heard. He will give you more wisdom over what you've heard. Now you have to do the work and see, that's what comes in. A lot of times people want somebody else to hold you accountable. No, learn to hold yourself accountable. Let's do it ourselves. Now, when it's time for you to move to another level, the way you know that you should connect with that individual as a mentor, when you have mastered some of their teachings without even being in their space, I'll give you an example. One of the, one of the principles that I have been mastering that really comes from Graham Cook. Here's what I did. Now, again, he's one of my mentor mentors, and I don't even know him. But here's what I did. When he began to, uh, three years ago, I came across one of his teachings called The Way of the Warriors. I got the books. I downloaded it. First, I went online. I went to YouTube, and I watched his videos over and over and over and over. Some of the materials that I watch, I transcribe. I wrote, I wrote down the, the key points. Then from the key points, I would take them and find the scriptures. And then from the scriptures, I would take them and I would pray in the Holy Ghost going, God, this is something that I need to do, that I need, you know, like, the, you know, uh, uh, for example, like pity parties. You know, my father had a challenge with depression around the holiday times he would have. And so that spirit that was connected to my bloodline, that thing would try to come at me. And so what I started to do when I heard Graham talking about, no, you don't get the right to a spirit of, of fainting. That's what a spirit of fainting is, is depression. So what I started doing really three years ago. Now, I had I had other techniques that I used over the years to not be brought under the influence of that spirit. But one of the things that Graham taught was he gave a specific strategy in his teaching for overcoming it. I implemented that strategy. I started to do it. So now holidays come up. I'm, I'm all joy. I don't worry about it. Now for years, what would happen even with my father, when the holidays would come around, that spirit of fainting of depression would come and then we'd have to deal with it. I don't even have to deal with it. It doesn't even come anymore. How did I get there? I took the lesson from the mentor and implemented it. I didn't have to call Graham. I didn't have to talk to Graham. I just got the materials, prayed in the Holy Ghost, took notes, read through the scriptures and did what he said. So when someone contacts me and they say, well, you know, will you mentor me? Will you coach me? I said, well, what video have you watched? So we'll say, I watched the video on, on being clear, concise. And then when they call me, it took them, took me, took them 15 minutes to get to their point. Well, I said, you ain't learned nothing about being clear. You hadn't learned anything about being concise and you ain't learned nothing about getting to the point. Obviously you did not take to heart the lesson that I was talking about. So why should I mentor you if you can't get the lesson out of a three minute video? You see where I'm going? Save your money. Stop giving money, people. Everybody want to be your coach. No, you don't need a coach. You have a coach. His name is Holy Ghost. Now, once you get to a certain level, buy from that instructor where you are internalizing their teaching at a distance. God will connect you. And that's what he did with me in terms of Patricia King. Now, I didn't know her. I had only only seen some of her teachings, but what I started to do is once I came into the awareness of the and the level of love that she walked in, I was like, God, ah, I need that. And God engineered the circumstance that brought me into her space. And when she she invite she actually asked to write the foreword to one of my books. I didn't ask, I didn't go looking for her, I didn't ask, I didn't no, what I did was I obeyed God. 
I, I came in contact with the ministry. I was offered to do an internship. I told Holy Spirit, I ain't paying a dime. If I do this internship, this is not cheap. It was like two grand to do that internship. I said, I'm not taking any money out of my budget. I'm not taking it. If you want me to do this internship and you want me to connect with Patricia King and XP Ministries, then you're going to pay for it within Three weeks, the whole two grand, the Lord gave, Holy Spirit gave me three people to contact and three people gave me $500 a piece. Two people gave me $200 and one, the whole tuition was paid in three weeks. Now, when the Holy Spirit is instructing you to connect with somebody, it is because there is an anointing on that individual that needs to be connected and transferred into you. But if we're not obeying the instructions that that mentor gives from a distance, you're not going to do anything if you get into this space. All that's going to happen is you're going to be there whining and crying, wanting somebody to sit down and listen to us and tell them what's going on with me and this is what I've been through and this is who hurt. Get over it. Church, we have to grow up. And I'm not talking about church, church. I'm talking about if you are going to, if we are going to be a part of the kingdom, we have to stop being babes. As we used to say when we were kids, cry baby, cry baby, suck your mama. Mm. That's what the church is. We are babes and we are still taking milk. Grow up. You you want a mentor? Take the lessons that that person teaches and implement them. Do that first. What are the steps to implementing the message that you see without ever contacting them? If a, So here's number one. If you hear a word that strikes a chord in your spirit where the Holy Spirit inside of you jumps and you go, mm, you need some more of that. That's the word that you're going to listen to multiple times. Now, I don't just listen to a sermon two or three times. I will listen to one sermon as much as 50 to 100 times. OK, sometimes I'll, I'll even put it on and just let it play overnight because my soul and my mind may be asleep, but my spirit is awake. So I will get that thing internalized. And then now next thing I'll do is I will get my notebook out and I will write down the key points. So if that like, I'll use that very video that I do call being clear, being concise, cut to the chase, I will write down the key points. I'll write down, being clear, write down, be concise, write down, cut to the chase or get to the point. Then I will go in and I'll pray in the spirit. I'll just pray in the Holy Ghost over those ideas. And I'll just ask Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, help me get this at the spirit level. Help me get it in my DNA. And as I'm doing that, I will get scriptures that reinforce, you know, what is that? One of those scriptures in Ecclesiastes, a fool is known by a multitude of words. Mm, the more you talk, the less we say. So what we have to do is get it in at the cellular level. Now you haven't talked to the mentor at all. So number one, first step, you're going to take the message. You're going to listen to it repetitive. Number two, you're going to write down the key points. Number three, you're going to put the scriptures with it. Number four, you're going to pray in the Holy Ghost. Now you haven't talked to that mentor yet. You ain't said nothing to them. You ain't called them. You ain't sent them no emails. You ain't sent them no Facebook. None of that. You don't need to. You don't need to. Now, after you do that, and the, and you you will start to see results. When you see a result, that is the fruit. Every mentor is all. I mean, any mentor. And I get this is. I had one young lady. She actually sent me an email. She said, "You know, I'm trying to do this. I want to start business." Hey, Bron Hey, Brenda. Hey, Charmaine. Hey, Ted. There's my brother here. Uh, when I when um. She said, I wanted to, uh, I want to start learning about business. I want to start learning about real estate. I don't know where to start. And I said, buy this book. I gave her one book. I think it was um, uh, Rich, Dad, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. I said, get this book. She messaged me back. I gave her like two or three. She messaged me back and said, I am reading this book. This is what I'm learning. This is what I'm learning. I am so excited. Thank you so much. Now that speaks to me. When I give you an assignment, so if you message me wanting more insight from me, I will always give people an assignment. If they're serious, they'll do it. And if they're not, they don't call me back, which is cool because I don't want them to. I don't want them wasting my time.
So now you have the strategies for getting a mentor. You have not spent a dime. You haven't contacted and wasted anybody else's time nor your own, but you're getting the full benefit of what that person teaches and you're getting it at the cellular level so that it is able, so that word trans, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The mind has six faculties. So now you're actually beginning to impact each of those faculties with the word that that instructor is teaching. So if the word that that instructor is teaching is being clear, now I'm getting it in my spirit. So now the Holy Spirit, hi Gloria, can partner with me when I'm in an exchange where I'm about to say something that I don't need to say. Holy Spirit, will now that I've been activating teaching about being clear, about being concise, about getting to the point, now the Holy Spirit can partner with me and say, just wait, don't say anything. Now I have been activating insight and revelation in that area and my spirit man will listen and so now my spirit man is rising to the ascendancy he's coming to the top and my mouth is more inclined to obey my spirit because I got the word that I heard from a mentor that I don't even know and I began to internalize it why I heard the message number two I wrote the message down number three I connected the word of God to it number four I prayed in the Holy Ghost number five I implemented it. So now when I'm in a situation, the Holy Spirit can activate that insight and then I get results. You see how this works? And you ain't called nobody and they had to pay nobody $500 for them to sit down on the phone with you, give you oh, for an hour telling you to do nothing, do stuff you already know to do. I'm just saying. So if you want a mentor, now here's the last thing I want to say about if, and now once you do that, hi Emily, once you do that, I said, Emilia, once you do those things, number one, I've got numbered them. Go back and watch this video. I'm going to upload it to YouTube in a little bit. Once you do those things, then God will engineer circumstances for you to connect with that circle. Why? Because your frequency will have elevated itself to where you are on the same wavelength as the person you are endeavoring to connect with. And that's vital because if you are not on the same wavelength with them, if you're not on the same frequency, then you become a discord or a disharmonious component that comes into their space and creates confusion. That's what, that's what frequency is. You know, a lot of people think, oh, you know, they feel like they, they, they oh, well, you know, I just, I don't believe in all this new age stuff. Do you realize that frequency is a scientific principle that has a spiritual and a divine connection? God is a frequency. All energy, all sound, all of that is a frequency. Your brain emits a frequency waves. So you even, your thoughts run on a certain level. That's why crazy people, you ever notice how people who are violent a lot, you get a lot of knuckleheads together, they tear up stuff. But you get a lot of geniuses together, they can create anything. And so what you want to be, Brenda, is on the same frequency as the person you are aspiring to be with. That's why our connections and our relationships are so vital. So in closing, when you get a mentor, here is a principle that I live. Number one, never have to be told the same thing twice. You want a mentor? Okay, God will give you one. One, do what they say. Do it the first time. Do it in a timely manner. And don't make them come back telling you the same stuff over and over again. That is the fastest way to get off my list. If I give, like the young lady who asked me what to do about, she said I need some, uh, something to get me started. I said, go get Rich Dad, Poor Dad, get this, get this, get this. She messaged me back. I'm, re I'm halfway through with Rich Dad. I said, okay, when you finish Rich Dad, now you get permission to talk to me. Because I believe that you are serious about getting on the same wavelength where I function. So you're not going to come up here where I am pulling me down to your level. We don't have time for that. So if you need a mentor, don't go buy a mentor. Don't pay any money. Find their teachings. Align your life with what they teach first. Get yourself up to that wavelength first. How do you do it? Listen to the teachings, number one. Take down the key points. Write it down, number two. Number three, align it with the scriptures. Number four, pray in the Holy Ghost. And then number five, when you pray in the Holy Ghost, now the Spirit of God is going to begin to move upon you to cause you to implement what you've been learning. Now, when you start to implement it and seeing results, you are ready to step into their space and God will open 
open doors for you to connect with that mentor. Before then, you're not ready. Charity Bradshaw, another associate of mine, posted a powerful message. She said, some doors are not opening because you're not ready to go through them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. So that's what I wanted to say today. I am, for those of you who are uh, keeping up with me, you know, I'm actively working right now. I'm trying to get this next book out. But as fast as I can write the revelation that's in my head, God gives me some more that wasn't even a part. So I can't even rewrite the whole book. I got It's like I'm writing a new book, which is a continuation of accessing the windows of heaven. My goal is to have this one out by the end of October pray for me. Um, the links for you to do pre-orders will be on, will be up by November 1st so that you'll be able to go to my website. This one will, now I do have, she lives by the river is now on Amazon, uh, Amazon Kindle and amazon.com. So you can actually order a hard copy. And then, uh, my older book accessing the windows of heaven will be available for download as well as being able to order a print on demand copy from amazon.com. That way I don't have to have books in my house anymore. I'm tired of that. I love you all. Thank you so much, you guys, for tapping in. Uh, just keep me, make sure you get notifications for my live feeds. I don't ever know when the Holy Spirit's going to tell me to give, so I just try to be ready. But today he said, you need to share this because it's been in my spirit for about a week. So if you need a mentor, now you know how to get one. I love you guys. Until we talk again, you make it a terrific day. Mwah.